Hello, my name is Brett from Blue Altitude. Today I'm going to give you a short presentation. I'm going to talk about just culture for the Park Camo organization. What I'm not going to talk about is talk about uh, the definitions of just culture or where just culture comes from. What I am trying to do though is to signpost you towards really what we, we should we should think about a just culture, I agree. However, what we should be thinking about is a safety culture within our own organization. That's what we should be promoting. So, what's the main driver for us to think about just culture? Well, this actually comes from what we call our, within the regulatory requirements, an internal safety reporting scheme. And really that aligns us to how we should be, consider what we think to be reporting on a sense of like occurrences, uh, in incidents and so on. So our main drive or driver comes, or to, for the just culture, comes from the internal safety reporting scheme. And like I just indicated, within that within that scheme itself, we need to identify what we call like occurrences. Now, whether they're mandatory occurrences as required through the regulatory authorities or the competent authorities, they could also be voluntary uh, occurrences that we actually we volunteer that information and report it to the competent authorities. We try to identify maybe instances or accidents, for example, or we actually may highlight something else that we would consider, consider to be like an important thing to consider to be a reportable event. You notice I'm using the word event as well, because at the moment I'm trying not to use the word error, because if we use the word error, we sometimes apportion that to blame. And so therefore you can think about that. I'm trying to mitigate or stay away from using the word error. It's not until we actually investigate it, the event that is, and therefore we can decide or determine what the actual probable causes are. So really for myself, and when we talk about a just culture, we're trying to move away from what we call the blame culture, and we're trying to move away from the no blame culture. We're trying to have a just culture within our own organization. So let's go back to this reporting of recurrences, for example, that I just indicated. So you can now see within our own organization, we need to think about a reporting culture because, again, driven by our internal safety reporting scheme, it's driving us to report occurrences. So we need to promote or uh, encourage people to report, report within our own organization. Because if you think about it, remember, as a account manager, for example, or a senior management team, I can't fix what I don't know. So if people don't report to me or tell me things that have gone wrong, how can I be able to fix them and so on? Now, within the org within the, the regulatory requirements, we have a, a need under what we call like our, our safety uh, risk uh, management system. We have a need to have in place. Now within that system itself, we have a requirement to promote safety. Now, again, to promote safety, we want to obviously learn from those events, don't we? So if something goes wrong within our organization or we change what we're doing or we're doing something different, for example, then we need to promote that. And again, that's through our learning, uh, maybe through industry or learning internally. So you can now see here, again, that's driving what we call a learning culture. And that learning culture actually would be linked to even like the to, towards our training requirements. Because you can see here, we now obviously things that, that change with the organization, we learn from that. It's now part of a training requirement. And really, this is also driven through our internal safety reporting scheme. So you can see now this internal safety reporting scheme doesn't just talk about just culture, which again, what I should be saying is it, it should be linked to our safety policy and quality objectives and be promoted through in the organization that actually encourages to obviously be a reporting culture and a learning culture now within the internal safety reporting scheme it doesn't say that you need to have a reporting culture or a learning culture it just talks about the just culture however if you read between the lines you do in theory have or will have a reporting culture a learning culture and a just culture. A combination of all three really is a safety culture. And as indicated when I first started to give you on the presentation, really within the organization, we shouldn't just be focusing on the just culture principles, whatever you feel they are, 
we should be focusing on all three aspects. Yes, we need a just culture. Yes, we need a report culture. And yes, we need a learning culture. So in theory, what we should be doing as an organization and as an aviation community is just not promoting the just culture. We need to promote a safety culture. That is the key thing and the key message for you to do today or take it on board. That is the way we should be viewing it. And that's it really. Uh, in summary, in a bit of a nutshell, you need to think about what a safety culture is and does, and does your organization incorporate and demonstrate that? And I think it is possible because sometimes to demonstrate a just culture is can be challenging, but you can definitely demonstrate to the competent authorities or, or internally assess yourself, your organization, you can definitely demonstrate you have a reporting culture and a learning culture. The difficult, difficulty and the challenge is to try and demonstrate a just culture in some ways. So that's it really on the end of that. Uh, if you have any sort of questions, any sort of feedback, then please uh, give us a call on the number shown on the screen, or you can email me or email us to sales at blue-altitude.com. Or if you have a go to our website, hit the contact us page. Again, fill in the form and send us your question or your feedback. That'd be most welcome. Thank you for your time.